Hi, my name is Dr. Derek Pinder, and I'm director of the Herbal Healing Center, a center that's based in Nashville, Tennessee, a center that's wholly dedicated to alternative and natural healings. And I've been asked by my friends at mydetoxfootbath.com to give you a brief history of the Ionic foot bath that's based solely on old Chinese text and manuscripts. We hope you enjoy the video. Chinese historians, along with folklore and legend, tells us that more than 2,000 years ago, there was a large group of religious Buddhist monks along with a small pilgrimage of sick people seeking cures for various ailments who traveled across treacherous terrain and knee-deep snow and ice during the winter months. After many days of traveling with little relief in sight from the weather, they settled down near a steaming hot spring bath that flowed from a high waterfall. Before settling down for the night, they decided to wash their feet in the steam bath. Upon awakening early the next morning to continue their journey, they were astonished to find that the sick pilgrims were all cured, were all stronger, were all alerter, and were more enthusiastic and eager to continue their journey. After returning to their respective towns, these formerly sick pilgrims told their families and other members in the town about the healing power of the steam bath waterfall. Well, as you know, the rest is history. First step is to connect the power supply cord. Next, we will connect the ionic array to the front of the unit. Now the ionic array is a little small round circular unit that's placed in the water. Check the back of the unit to make sure the power is off. Now plug the ionic array cable into a surge protector for between 110 to 120 outlet. Be sure to place a liner in your plastic tubing. In that way, we can transfer any athletes food or any other bacteria. After the plastic liners have been placed in the tube, place the ionic ray in the tub of water. It can be placed on its side or upward. Now, we'll pour warm water over the ionic ray, filling it halfway. The next step is to dampen the wrist of the client using gel or water. Then we place a strap over the wrist or water or gel with a metal touching liquid. We will then place the wristband into the rear of the machine. Now turn the machine on. And we can turn the machine on by the switch on the rear of the machine. If your ionic foot bath comes with a belt, place the belt around the client's waist. But please only place the belt over clothing. Never place the belt on bare naked skin. This belt assists the client in removing metals and toxins from the midsection of the body. Now plug the belt into the back of the machine. Next, we will need to place a small amount of salt in our water. This salt is used to, for help, to help produce conductivity or to help the electrical flow throughout the water. Now, you can place your feet in the water. After the client's feet is placed in the water, the client may experience some tingling sensation. If tingling occurs, place a little more salt into the water.
express the strength of the power which comes on low, medium or high. On the very top of the machine, this controls the heat to the belt. We can place it on low, medium or high. This allows for more toxins to leave the body. You will notice that the water will gradually change colors from a pale yellow to perhaps a bright orange. Don't be alarmed by this. It only means that the machine is working properly. The recommended time and frequency will vary from person to person. So, a general rule is a client should not do more than one session every two days in the first month. The recommended time per session is 30 minutes. We highly advise to do not succeed the recommendations. Again, we strongly recommend that you highly follow these instructions on the recommendation of the Ionic Foot Bath. We ask that you do not succeed or go over the desired amount of time, which is 30 minutes. How well you govern your body is most important while doing the detox machine. We recommend that the nourishment comes from a whole food source, such as fresh vegetables or fresh fruit. We also recommend that if you are taking any kind of medication, that you take the medication after you completed doing your foot bath for that particular day. And we recommend this because there comes a time when some people we feel the ionic foot bath may pull nutrients out of the body or it may pull medicines out of the body. So we suggest that the medicines that you're taking if you are on medication should be taken at the end of the session. infrared belt that we've included in this unit if you are if you are using a unit with a belt it's made from charcoal and bamboo sticks is also used at times by a lot of women to reduce the waist belt The very first unit that we're showing you is our commercial unit. This unit can be used in the clinic or a commercial setting. It's built sturdy. It comes with an array. It comes in a metal carrying case that's professionally designed. Displayed in the middle is our double unit. The double unit is great for a couple. It also has a connection for an mp3 player where you can enjoy your own music. This is great so that you and your loved one together. There are two single units. They come with aluminum carrying cases that's padded on the inside and it's great for travel. These units are specially designed for individual use. They can be used while at home or while traveling.